On local news tonight, news Happy Hills, I am Ashley Murray and this is my imaginary friend Bob. Today we will be bringing you the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And it goes, King Nebuchadnezzar made a gold statue. I guess I want to make a statue. Or, wait, maybe you can do it. Whatever. It was nine feet tall and nine feet wide. They set it upon the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. I guess you can make it about 90 feet. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> he then sent, sent messages to the high officers, officials, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the providential officials to come to the dedication of the statue he had set up. So all of these officials came and stood before King Nebuchadnezzar, the statue King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And the herald shouted out, People of all races, nations, and languages, listen to the king's command. When you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments, bow to the ground and worship King Nebuchadnezzar's gold statue. Anyone who refuses to obey immediately will be thrown into the blazing furnace. <laughs> Y'all listen here, okay? Y'all need to bow down like I bow down to Justin Bieber's poster in my room every night. Because if not, your buns are going to get burned bad. I mean... <laughs> So, at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people, whatever their race, nation, or language, bowed to the ground and worshipped the gold statue King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Baby, 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 oh, singing baby, 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 oh, thought you'd always be mine. But some of the astrologers went to the king and informed on the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, Long live the king. You issued a decree requiring all the people to bow down and worship the gold statue when they hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and other musical instruments. That decree also states that those who refuse to obey must be thrown into the blazing furnace. There are some Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you have put in charge of the province of Babylon. They pay no attention to you, your majesty. They refuse to serve your gods and do not worship the gold statue you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar flew into rage in order that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought before him. What the snap do you want? <laughs> what is he shy or something? <laughs> something I need to tell you. What is it that you need to tell me? Would you like a hot dog? <laughs> King, I hate to tell you this, you're not going to be very happy. <laughs> there are three people over there who refused to bow down to your statue. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> well, I guess you can bring them to me. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> When they were brought in, Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you refuse to serve my gods or worship the gold statue I have set up? I will give you one more chance to bow down and worship the statue I made when you hear the sound of the musical instruments. But if you refuse, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. <laughs> and then what god will be able to rescue you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach, Bob? You cannot say that on live television. That is racist. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to go to church. Be quiet. I'm sorry. What's that to do to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he does not, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue that you have set up. You 
You done? All right, all right. <laughs> I will give you one more chance to bow down to my statue. What will your God do then? Um, we will, um... Ah, <laughs> Jack, shut up! Stop being so suspect! <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I just want to end world hunger. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face became distorted with rage. He commanded that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than usual. This is my face of anger! <laughs> Maybe I should make it about seven times hotter. I don't know. What do you think? Should we throw it in the furnace? I'm a goat. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't really feel like it. Maybe I should set it out seven times hotter? I'm still just a goat. <laughs> then he ordered some of the strongest men in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego you and throw God. them into the blazing furnace. That's that. So they tied them up and threw them into the furnace, fully dressed in their pants, turbans, robes, and other garments. And because the king in his anger had demanded such a hot fire in the furnace, the flames killed the soldiers as they threw the men in. Suddenly, Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in amazement and exclaimed to his advisors, Holy crow, Batman! There's four people doing a chorus line, not just three. By golly, there sure he is. Man, they're dancing in there just as good as Justin Bieber. <laughs> just bad. Then Nebuchadnezzar came as close as he could to the door of the flaming furnace and shouted out, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, come here at once! So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire. When the high officers, officials, governors, and advisors crowded around them and saw that the fire had not touched them, not a hair on their heads was singed, and their clothing was not scorched, they did not even smell of smoke. <laughs> That's the power of pine saw, baby! <laughs> <laughs> then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angel to rescue his servants who trusted him. They defied the king's command and were willing to die rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make this decree. If any people, whatever their race, nation, or language, speak a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they will be torn limb from limb, and their houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. <laughs> there is no God who can rescue like this. Then, the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to even higher positions in the province of Babylon. Get ready, put your hands in the air, stand up, come on, stand up, stand up, come on. Stand up. All right, you guys ready for this? All right, you're about to hear something really good. All right. You guys ready? All right, here we go. We are rut, rut, random, rut, rut, random, rut, rut, random justice. We are rut, rut, random, rut, rut, random, rut, rut, random justice. All right, yeah, we're from the 313. We're the original horse team. We're gonna have you on your knees, pleading, please. We're. we're <laughs> Jesus, 
gives us for our sins. You know where we are and where we've been. The best <laughs> advice is to stop tripping and start living. Cause we knew we were forgiven. Hold up. All right. Freeze. <laughs> Here's a little story I like to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back on Happy Hill where we learned how to ball and how to chill. But the one who taught us the most was the Holy Ghost. <laughs> We dove in the word like a pull of bull turd. <laughs> <laughs> you can just serve! Wow! <laughs> <laughs>